How do you respond to the influence question? Specifically, tell me about a time you were asked to influence someone. Believe it or not, this is one of the most common behavioral questions asked in a job interview. Does this surprise you? It actually surprised me quite a bit. I Googled it and there were 1.5 billion results. And when I saw that data point, I figured, okay, I know I cover this with a lot of my clients, but I absolutely need to do a video on it. And in this video, we're simply gonna outline all the items you wanna consider when answering this question. So let's dive in. Item one is company culture. So I found this data point countless times in my research. And of course, this is part of your process. I want you to research the company, but this research really shouldn't change your answer regardless of company. You need to have a killer answer. And if company culture is really influencing it based on your research, your answer probably isn't strong enough. And I, I know that this is a different position, but to me, the company research piece, it's just completely irrelevant for this specific question. Item two, why? It's critical when outlining your situation and task that you are clearly able to define why influencing this person was so important and why it was important to this specific initiative, project, program, etc. And then ultimately, what was the business impact? And you need to do all this in two to three sentences. Remember, this is a killer part of the situation and task where we give way too much background on why it was so important to influence that person clearly outline it and then dive in. It's absolutely critical. If you can add in a timeline to get it all done, that's also very, very helpful. Item three is data. Data and influencing by utilizing data should just be a consistent theme throughout your answer. Influencing needs to be supported with data and you should also be able to talk about how you presented the data. This is a missing piece of the puzzle. So in order to influence, what did you use? Did you use a spreadsheet? Did you create a formal presentation, a one pager? Did you actually physically meet with them and outline it out? Did you go through pros and cons, etc.? I want to know how. Remember, in your actions, it's very important that you tell me what you did and then you support it with how you did it. Item four, interpersonal skills. This is going to have a lot of subject areas, but just a few I want you to keep in mind. You absolutely want to be thinking about things like psychological safety, active listening, empathy, trust, respect, and doing all of this with a high level of professionalism. And a critical facet around any item for influence is being able to show care at this emotional level and clearly defining how you created a really safe space to influence. And then if applicable, how you may be adapted to this personality's this person's personality type and just talking about their overall potential, like really highlighting what they did well. Remember, all companies will hire people who have a high level of emotional intelligence. Item five, this is a great segue, positivity. So it's a great follow up to item four because it's absolutely critical that the underlying tone of your influence was positive. Um, it, if it comes across too pushy, aggressive, arrogant, it could really turn your interviewer off. So use positive words throughout your answer and just always keep that positive tone in an interview. Mm -hmm. Item six is persuasion. How did you utilize both the data and the soft skills to persuade and influence this person? What specific tactics did you use? How did you persuade with assertiveness? How did you identify commonalities adjusting to that personality type to persuade them? And then how did you use critical thinking, logical reasoning, and correlating your expertise to persuade? Now, lastly, how did you negotiate? Did you have a little bit of give and take and did you present alternatives? And did you come in with a plan for those alternatives? This is a lot. This is a really, really heavy section, but persuasion is obviously a critical aspect of influencing someone. So these are all critical items to consider. Now, Item seven is your action plan. The next step is you talking through how you organized, prioritized, tested, and executed on this influence. 
Oftentimes with these kinds of behavioral questions, they're front loaded, meaning that we really do spend a little bit too much time focused in on how we influenced initially, but we really skip over the testing and execution component. So I really want you to dive into these items. How did we get into it? How did we create that plan? How did we start a test on that plan and iterate on that plan? How did we execute? Because this is just going to continue to demonstrate and show how you influenced throughout this entire example. Item eight is kind of launching, documenting, presenting, etc. Many people skip over this last section, but don't forget that influence is critical. Maybe you talk about how the two of you launched an awesome product, or maybe a critical presentation that the two of you gave to leadership that really impressed them. And obviously that last piece is how did your influence come about to ultimately document and socialize this information? Again, it's an action that I see skipped over quite a bit and it really will round out your answer quite nicely. So let's move into the next step. Let's move into those results, item nine. And the first result should really focus in on the relationship. What were the results of your ability to influence and persuade this person? We wanna start there. Then we can follow up with results more focused in on business outcomes, business success. Now, of course, embedding any numbers at this point is gonna be incredibly valuable because remember, numbers are the universal language. And then end with repeatability. Now, when we talk about repeatability, what was the bigger win? What was the broader impact of this influence for the organization? Item 10, learnings. Now, while not all behavioral answers need learnings, this is a great one to bring in learnings. Outlining what you learned by influencing this person can be really important, but maybe along the way you had some learnings of how to better go about influencing, again, from the beginning or middle to end. Like what could you have done better? How have you improved on that specific aspect? I really hope this helps. There's a ton of keywords in here that I want you to focus in on, but utilize all these items and you'll have great success. Good luck.